Both Chippy United and Highlands Park have something to gain out of this round 24 of the Premiership encounter at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium in Port Elizabeth this afternoon. Chippy United with a victory can get themselves out of the relegation zone for the first time in a little while as they would dump Barocca into the drop zone with a win over Highlands Park today. And Vignani into the penalty area and good ball out here towards Tavarokale. Fresh from scoring a goal against Black Leopards, uh, along with Larotta Manzini before uh, Leopards turned that game around. Quite interesting, Brian, in the previous matches. Just watch this replay. Cuts inside. Good intentions because he lines it up. Tavaloni Shongwe gets a touch. There's a touch here as well for Spiwem Simango. He's a good playmaker, Simango. Look at this pace for Lucky Boy McQuena suddenly. It's a delightful ball into the penalty area as well. And it's a tremendous save from Mzi Mella. What a pass. And I say what a pass because that's a pass from Mukwena. Telling pass. What a timely run. All the way back to Bevan Franzmann. And he goes the aerial route looking for lucky boy Mukwena. Hit her up in there from Tulani. Keeper comes out and chases. Matropi Impala. Just over the top. Right, so they got themselves in trouble, Chippy United, and very nearly punished by uh, a man who scored his eighth goal of the season against Barocca last time out. Guess who is now in trouble? They're winning the aerial battles. And ball pops up here to Peter Shalulile. Space for lucky boy Mokwena. Mokwena again. Matobi and Vala. The ball just arrived, I think, just behind the hip. And that's why he miscued a little. It's a game plan which they have to win the battle in the midfield, get the ball quicker into the box, try and pull the trigger. On the edge of the penalty area. Hughes stays on his line, then he gets punished as well. Great header over the top from Chipper United. And uh, once again, it's Mbignani. The delivery. Hmm? The delivery. Look at this. The weight of that ball played today. How he peels off you know, from the defender. That glancing header. So good, so convincing from Benyani. Unlucky that he could not get it on target. For Chippy United, inside by Peter Shalulile. Mukwena, will he have a go? It was a deflection off the back of Boikano Kamane! The ball deflects in the back of the net, and Highlands Park are in front. It's I'm a bit unfortunate. Start... Sorry, Brian. Yeah, you're right. A little bit unfortunate. But there are a few players that have got to be credited. This man, Mukwena. Nicely away by Frederick and Sabiumba. Falls to Lucky Boy Mukwena. Too many white jerseys around, though. This is Tertius Repo Malepe. Malepe again. Zita Macheke. Lovely movement of the ball. Manzini. Still Manzini. Talk about a response. He's uh, sporting a turban. Lucky boy Makwena pushing forward. Chamalani Shongwe is the only man in the penalty area for Ireland's park at the moment. Although there is a little bit of a play here. Good save, Mzi Miller. Once again, it's a bit on Yembe who's really inspired this afternoon. Looking for a corner, gets the corner. He's doing what striker should do. Pull the trigger, test the keeper different angles, anything can happen. But guess who's equal to the challenge? Umbong Enims Dimela. Back post header from Ryan Ray, looping ball, Mzimela under pressure, flaps at the ball. He's claiming for some clemency from the match referee, he's not going to get any. Another and Sepe, I think, no. was uh, looking in a dangerous place. Don't forget he scored against Barocca in the previous match. Mzimela talking to the referee. Free kick then taken. Mzimela way off his line and disposed the ball, but was he fouled? The referee offers protection to the former Platinum Stars goalkeeper. Kept his eyes on the ball. Right, here we are in second half stoppage time. Four minutes added on by referee Philip Tignani. Ball's been allowed to bounce in the area. Fredrik and Sabiumba. 
and uh, a bit of uh, ping pong inside that area between two Highlands Park players. I think it was Motepe and Ryan Ray who got touches, and that ball could have got anywhere. And Highlands Park just getting himself into a bit of trouble. 1 1 the half time score. 1 1 is the final score. Chippy United 1, Highlands Park 1. Let's hear first then from the away coach, Owen de Gama. Coach, how do you feel about the results and the performance? Well, um, I'm uh, with hindsight um, a point away from home. It's, a, it's okay. Uh, but we really wanted to win this one. We, we threw everything at them. We tried every possible trick in the book. Uh, but uh, in all fairness to them, um, they attacked quite well as well. Uh, but I was just happy that we could negate players like um, Rakale, who was, um, you know, he's been the most influential player. We got him out of the game, and Benjan, ben, um, Bunjani, Benjani was also uh, uh, replaced. So for me, um, I think from a tactical perspective, we got it right. We created enough chances to score another goal or two. Um, we were not clinical enough uh, in, in that department. Uh, we, we need to work, but again, conceding in a critical moment of the game. I mean, we just score a minute before halftime, you, you concede. So I think that uh, uh, is something that is, is, it's a monkey on our back, and, we, and we're trying to get rid of that. But what we do know is that we want to get better as a team. We want to improve consistently, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad, 30 points, if you had given that to me the beginning of the season, I would have grabbed it for our first season in, in the PSL. I've got to talk about the game management as well from your side, from your players, because um, it was a case of controlling the opening exchanges, controlling the midfield, and then having that height advantage as well. Then they brought on my umbrella, things changed a little bit, and you still managed to go ahead. But then conceding very soon after, as you mentioned, which is a problem, and then that battle that happened just on the halftime break, managing the players and everything that happened in the first half, how did you do that? Yeah, I think um, uh, I must compliment you. You sounded like Pep Guardiola there. <laughs> Some great, great wisdom there. Um, look, I, I, I definitely believe that, um, uh, you know, we had to manage the game. You get away from home. There are, there are so many times when you go away from home or, or, or even at home. Uh, you have to consolidate. Take your point. Every point in the PSL is gold to us. So if we, we didn't play for a draw, you could see that. I mean, we took the lead. We had a couple of chances. But then you have to start uh, uh, changing things around. We brought in an extra midfielder just to make sure that we can consolidate in the middle there. So I think from a tactical perspective, um, uh, it, it worked for us. It's just disappointing that we didn't get uh, the three points. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you very much. Let's let's hear from Clinton Larson. Coach, your assessment, please. Uh, I've got to say frustrating. You know, um, we knew what they're going to throw at us. We worked in it all week. The long throws from Ray, the direct balls from the back, uh, Shalulile's movement from the inside, outside. Um, so, yeah, we weren't surprised by, by the way they played. Uh, but there was only one team playing football here today, you know, and... Um, you know, football, as a lot of people say, can be cruel. You dominate uh, a game like this and uh, you don't have much to show for it. But um, like I keep saying, as long as the players keep performing like this, keep fighting, uh, we created chances. We may not have um, been clinical enough in the final third at times, but um, we arrived at the opponent's box on numerous occasions. Uh, but yeah, it's two points drop for us. Um, but coming off a loss, I suppose we'd have to take the point. How important was it to get that equaliser so soon after? Yeah, very important because we knew once we got back on level terms, we could start dominating them again. They were only looking for one thing and that's route one. And uh, we knew if we put our foot on the ball, which we did, uh, and credit to the boys for that, you know, we probed and, and looked for openings. But once again, we must also give the op opponent credit, you know. Um, uh, resolute defending on their part, uh, good organization and um, at times a tough team to break down but I thought we could have been a little bit quicker around their box in terms of our passing. Just before I let you go coach, I'm very curious about Maya Bella, what you said to him, how he changed things because Highlands were quick out of the blocks, they had a lot of the ball, a lot of the chances and then he came on and changed things, how did he do that? Yeah, we just basically changed that triangle, you know, with one pivot sitting and, and Mayambele and Malepe playing in the opponents off. And I think that caused the problem for them, where, whereas with Malama there, we had two players in our half and just uh, Malepe uh, in attack. So once we just changed that triangle around, we started to dominate them a lot more. Uh, and credit to Mark, you know, he's been patient, he's been training very hard and he made a very, very good impact here today. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Julia.